What's up everyone? It's time for a special Thursday edition of NXT and as always I am your host, the River Danny B. And tonight the two ladies who gained a shot at the NXT roster on Friday's DPW, they get their opportunity here tonight. First up of course it's the woman who actually made the final pinfall on Friday, it's Claudia Thorne. Tonight she looks to continue that momentum into a final moment and onto a roster spot for NXT. Remember the rules of this match are, if either of the two DPW girls are able to make the pinfall, they will become NXT Divas. And Claudia is up first. But of course her tag team partner who seems to have left her championship belt at home is Emma Lockhart, the current DPW World Vixens champion. Remember now, with the stipulations on Friday, if Claudia is unable to pick up the victory here tonight, she will get a one-on-one -on -one match with Emma a couple of weeks down the line on DPW. But their opponents, and there will be two of them, start off tonight with the girl by herself, Cameron. Well, Cameron came up short in her bill, in her opportunity to become the NXT Women's Champion back at Arrival. And it's the last time we saw Cameron, she's back tonight to try and rectify that mistake and stop the progression of Emma and Claudia. This is of course the second shot Emma Lockhart will be getting as she took on WWE's Emma at Arrival and came up short. You've got to think this is not just an opportunity to stop the girls from making their way up, but it's also an opportunity to get yourself in the runnings for the NXT Women's Championship as the champion herself, who also seems to have forgotten her belt, <laughs> Alicia Fox, is the second op opposition tonight. So this is a massive opportunity for the other three girls of the ring, because if any one of them can pin Alicia they would automatically gain themselves a shot at the Women's Championship down the line. So that's Thorne there. That's Emma Lockhart. Cameron. And of course the NXT Women's Champion. Alicia Fox. And let's kick this one off now. Fatal 4-Way. First pinfall rules. First fall to a finish. And surprisingly, Thorne and Emma going after one another immediately. You can tell that this opportunity means a lot to them for them to go after one another at this point. I'll say one after one another. It was Claudia who went after Emma, and Emma just hasn't had a chance to get back in this yet. Back in the ring, of course, Alicia Fox is taking it to Cameron and has just dumped her to the outside. This match has to end in the ring. It's a standard fatal four-way match. No disqualifications and no countouts, but you must end this one in the ring. Claudia Thorne is taking it to Emma Lockhart. One. Maybe I was wrong. One. Two. <laughs> that was nearly an over one. Early there, man. I'm wrong. This is a fool's count anyway, a fatal four-way match. So anything can happen. Do what you got to do, girls, to win this one. All four of them get into a bit of a cluster in the corner there. If anyone's going to win this one, they've got to break away from the pack. And it's Emma who's taking Claudia down as Cameron fights off the NXT Women's Champion. I'm going to try and do my best to keep up with this one. Four competitors in the ring. I may miss something here and there. For example, I'm not exactly sure what Thorne just hit. No DQs. The Fatal 4-Way match, that would be the case anyway, but especially in Fool's Count anywhere. Thorne has the chair and has taken it to Emma Lockhart. Cameron has the sledgehammer and has just had it fought out of her hands by Alicia Fox. We've got a cover here. The referee taking way too long to make the break, make the cover there. He goes back to count for Claudia though. Takes a while, but we've got one. Took too long. He took too long to get to that. 
One referee trying to keep up with all this madness. Don't blame him for taking a second. Now Emma fights back against her best friend. A tag team partner. Those two really going at it, trying to prove that they belong here. Cameron's got to cover one, two. Alicia is able to kick out. The NXT Women's Champion showing why she's at the top of the division right now. Down goes Lockhart and Claudia's got the cover. Got one, two, three and it's over already. It is over already. Claudia Thorne has done it. She picks up the pinfall on Friday night and tonight she pins her best friend, her tag team partner. Unbelievable effort there from Thorne. This was very early on in the match, going for the first cover, the one that let me know that this was still a Fool's Camp Anywhere match. Emma turned it around. Looked like it could have been an early out for Claudia Thorne. But then the weapons came into play. As you see there, Alicia Fox able to wrangle out the sledgehammer from under Cameron's hands. Emma fought back after being attacked with a chair shot. Thorne went to break up this cover, but there was no need. A big clothesline there from Cameron as those two continue to fight it out on the outside. The agendas of these women was very, very obvious. For Cameron, it was a chance to pin the NXT Women's Champion. And for Thorne and Emma, it was a chance to make their debut on the main roster. And there it is. Claudia Thorne. So look out for Miss Thorne to appear on NXT in the coming weeks. And if she wasn't the DPW Vixen champion, she can come straight over. She won't have to go back down on Friday nights. She's made it now. Well done, Claudia Thorne. And you've got the right to be excited there. May have missed that exit sign there. But anyway, um, before we continue with this match, I do want to apologize for the sound of my voice. I am very ill, which is why we are running incredibly late with our shows this week. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll all be back to normal by next week. But, with that said, let's look towards this next match. And it is a one-on-one -on -one match. And it is for the NXT Championship. Tyler Breeze, the number one contender, has managed to get under the skin of champion Baron Corbin over these past few weeks. Including last week, he walked away from a tag team match, allowing Corbin to be pinned for the very first time in this season mode. Tyler Breeze looking to use that mental advantage over the champion to continue to slow down the momentum of Baron Corbin and take the NXT Championship home for himself. going to be easier said than done though isn't it Baron Corbin slowly makes his way to the ring as usual that NXT title belt glistening around his waist now the lone wolf may have taken a bit of an ass kicking last week due to Enzo More and Colin Cassidy but it took two men to finally pin the champion for the first time Tyler still got his work cut out for him tonight if he wants to call himself NXT's champion. But we all know Prince Pretty can pull out some surprising moves when he needs to. The Alpha Wolf. Getting ready for action. NXT Championship is on the line. 
This will be the first time Corbin has defended the belt since beating Finn Balor for it back at arrival. And here we go. Nobody too quick to get out of the gate here. I'm not surprised. Nobody wants to make a mistake. Baron Corbin easily outpowers Tyler Breeze there. Corbin has to have 60, 70 pounds on Breeze. He's going to use that to his advantage. Doesn't mean Prince Pretty doesn't have something up his sleeve, as you saw there. Managing to strike out at Corbin at the last second. But Baron Corbin turns around and uses his power to put down Tyler Breeze. Now Corbin wearing down Breeze early on. Knowing full well that if he can just pick apart the challenger, it shouldn't give Tyler Breeze too many opportunities. Breeze has now turned it around on Corbin. And there's the leg sweep. That's what he needs to do. Chop down that big redwood and keep him down to his size. And of course, as we all know, the beauty shop, it can come from nowhere. And Corbin is going to have to watch out for that. Back to the same move here from Baron Corbin. Turnabout is fair play there. We're locking up again. This is a very surprising standard wrestling match from these two so far. I expected Baron Corbin to just charge through Tyler Breeze. Instead we are getting a more traditional hold based submission match here. Corbin starts to work on the shoulder of Tyler Breeze. Now, we did say we are running a little late with our shows this week. Nice spine buster there from Corbin. No effort involved from the Lone Wolf. We are running a little late this week. NXT will be going up tonight on Thursday. And we will see Smackdown on Friday. And DPW will actually be coming on Saturday if I can't get it up Friday as well. But we will return to normal with payback on Sunday. So don't you worry. We will get back on form this holiday season. Tyler Breeze. We're not going to skip out on any episodes just because I've got a few lurgies, you know. Might be a little late, but we are still going to keep going. That's what happens here in the Ripperverse. Things might be occasionally late, but they never go away completely. That's a lie. You know what I mean. Now we're on the outside. Tyler Breeze taking it to Baron Corbin. This is an interesting position for Breeze. He can do a lot of damage out on the, on the floor, but he cannot win the match. Outside, he cannot win the belt by count out, more to the point. That's what I was trying to say there. He gets back in the ring. Corbin is up, follows Breeze into the ring. Now, Breeze trying to out quick. Baron Corbin, that's the way he's going to have to go about this. It's actually all over Corbin at this point. The champion is in trouble. Finally, a counter from Baron Corbin allows him to get back into this one. Whipping Tyler Breeze into the corner. Breeze just collapses off the turnbuckle. The power of Baron Corbin coming into play here. Corbin continues to slow down the pace, which frankly is what he needs to do if he's got a chance of beating Tyler. He needs to have this at his own pace. Prince Freddy can come out of nowhere with his signature shots. Corbin needs to be prepared for them. So something as simple as that. Tyler Breeze getting the knee to the stomach there. Taking Baron Corbin back down. Corbin luckily recovers. Throws Tyler across the ring. No, nothing pretty about that. No remorse from Baron Corbin. It's an early cover there. Don't know what Breeze was going for there. The crowd got pumped about it, but he didn't quite achieve it. Baron Corbin instead puts Tyler in the tree of woe. What's Corbin got planned here? Just a simple kick to the stomach. Driving the foot down into the face of Prince Pretty. Now 
Baron Corbin. He's setting up. This could be the beginning of the end. As he drops him with that suplex slam. Corbin in for the cover here. We've got one, two. Not quite, not quite. But Tyler is on the receiving end of a beating now. And you know Baron Corbin is thinking end of days. If he gets a chance, he's going for it. Breeze is on the ropes. What's Baron Corbin got planned here? For the king of Cuteville. Oh no, this ain't going to be pretty. Apron DDT. The thing is, Baron Corbin may have delivered a crushing blow to Tyler Breeze there, following it up with the leg drop. But yeah, of course, the match has to end in the ring, and that gives Tyler some chance to recover from that head jarring move. Corbin keeping the pace to his liking. Slowly dissecting Tyler Breeze as he whips him into the corner. Not looking to finish this one just yet, which is rather surprising. Bit of cover here from Corbin. We got one, two. Not quite there. I thought that was going to be it. Corbin surprisingly not going for the pin following that apron DDT. Guessing he assumes he's got more work to do, but it could have been a mistake there as finally Tyler Breeze shows some signs of life rolling out of the ring. <laughs> and as Corbin mocks him, the supermodel kick puts the champion in his place. Two. Not quite. Baron Corbin still got the fight in him to kick out. But Tyler Breeze just made Corbin pay for mocking him. Corbin is not happy about it. Taking this fight back outside. Corbin, of course, would be happy to take this one. With a count out with a disqualification, he retains his title. Makes no odds to him. It's the attitude and the mentality of the lone wolf. He'll hold on to that belt no matter what. He'll destroy you if he's got the chance, but if he's going to take away the belt, he'll do it any which way he can. That's elbow to the throat there by Tyler Breeze. We're back in the ring. Breeze showing some signs of fatigue, not quite following up. He gets Corbin into the corner. And Tyler Breeze has pretty much come out of nowhere. He struggled early on in this season. In the last couple of weeks, he's managed to get right under the skin of Baron Corbin. Earned himself a number one contendership spot. In the space of a couple of weeks, Tyler Breeze could kill the momentum of the hottest star in the season right now. Only Baron Corbin and John Cena have had the records that we can stare at. Baron Corbin has had a single loss thus far. Which, of course, up on the main roster, John Cena is yet to be defeated. Apart from in a hardcore championship match where he was not the one beaten. And of course, like I said, it took two men last week as Tyler Breeze walked out on his partner for the match, Baron Corbin. It took both the NXT champions to finally, NXT tag team champions, should I say, to finally put down Baron Corbin. And now Corbin smells blood as he went for it again, but Tyler Breeze had an answer. And Breeze. Spinning net breaker by Tyler Breeze. Corbin was going for that suplex slam by the looks of things. Tyler Breeze had an answer for it. He's goading Baron Corbin back to his feet. Are we going to see it? The beauty shot connects. That could be it. That could be all she wrote. Is it over? One, two, it is! Tyler Breeze has just become your NXT champion. Prince Pretty, my God. The majority of this match had to go to Baron Corbin. 
He was in control for the biggest part of this. He was in control for almost all the match. Unbelievably, Tyler kept coming back. I think this could have been Corbin's mistake here. Instead of going for the end of days, he decided to punish Tyler Breeze. Drop him with the apron DDT. That move could have put Tyler out altogether. But Corbin just didn't get him back in the ring. And when he did, he didn't go for the finish anyway. Say, so, all of these clips so far are just showing the dominance of Baron Corbin. He was completely all over this thing. I would have said that Baron Corbin was taking this away for the most of this match. It was really close there from Tyler, but the beauty shot, man. Didn't see the moment there where Tyler made Corbin pay for being so cocky about things. But the beauty shot. Corbin just didn't see it coming. And it ended up costing him. Here is your winner and the new NXT champion, Tyler Breeze. Phenomenal stuff tonight. NXT has been a rocket house of interesting matches. As always, my name is the Ripper Danny B. I'll see you next time.